Yeah, it's gonna be, uh, thank you for braving the roads. Uh, I hope everybody got here safely and uh, others I know are unable to come. We've had uh, phone calls and emails, uh, people disappointed not to be here because they, they want to see this little flock of, flock of angels. Is that what it is? Gaggle of, what do you call angels? Whatever they are, they're, they're, they're good. And shepherds and kings and all these cute little animals. So we're so thankful for that, for braving out and making this day uh, so, such a good day. Several announcements I'm going to do for you if you're not done. So uh, this, if you pass around the, the uh, sign-in pads, wherever they went, uh, there should be a white booklet. If uh, you are a guest or visitor with us, of course, uh, we'd love to be back in touch with you if you would like us to, uh, uh, or like to learn more about the church. We'd love to be talking to you about that. So please fill that out as much as you can. A couple of other items going on. Our, our Christmas giving tree is out here. There's a few tags left. I think there are more that could go on there when those run out. So please, if you could grab those, uh, bring those items in. They're asking that, that when you return the items that they are unwrapped so they can see exactly what they are, make sure they're distributed appropriately. So please, uh, grab, let's get that tree empty today and we can reload it. But please bring those gifts in for next week. Also, we have our Project Legacy uh, gifting opportunity as well where you can make a monetary gift to Project Legacy in honor or, or dedicating to someone else. Uh, so please consider that as well. So the giving tree and then the Project uh, Legacy uh, gift of, of hope as well. We also have a couple of items for Pastor Beth. Yes, good morning everybody. So today we are gathering with middle school and high school in a joint activity. We are going to Samaritan Bethany to bake or decorate cookies. I'm not actually sure which one. Um, right after lunch today, so don't leave, stay. And if you are a parent of a middle school, high schooler, um, let me know if you want to drive because I think we will carpool over. Um, I think we have a big enough group that we will do that. Um, so that, that's one of my things. Do you know if mine are all running in a row? <laughs> we also have our, our Christmas, is Debbie here? I don't know if she, she was here, no. she's running around. Uh, they're doing a Christmas uh, cookie exchange either on Thursday or Friday. There's a sign-up sheet uh, wherever most people sign up. Please do so. It's down by the office. We can't find the other sign-up board. It's somewhere in the midst of construction. Uh, so it's down by the office. So sign up if you could come Thursday or Friday and would like to participate uh, in that. The women's retreat is coming up very soon, early in January, the 13th through the 15th, and we would love to have you come. Speak with me if you haven't already. If you need a registration form, we have a whole bunch out on the welcome table, um, but we would love to have a big group of women come and do that. Um, the plan for it is earth or water, wind, earth, and fire, praying with the elements. So we will do that and have some wonderful fellowship time. Is earth, wind, and fire coming to sing? No. Oh, <laughs> Though I probably have some recorded on my phone that we could okay. use if we really wanted to. Um, on the other end of the spectrum, I am leading a uh, little lunch gathering for kids of um, toddlers, infants, preschoolers to just come and have some time together, eat lunch, swap plans, ideas, uh, play in the nursery. If anything, it just gives us a good chance to get out and play with different toys than we usually do. So um, you don't, don't even have to RSVP, just show up Monday, Wednesdays. And also this Saturday, we're actually going to do a Saturday version for all of our working families who can't come during the week, we'd love to see you this Saturday, um, 11, in the dwelling on Saturday, but usually we're in the nursery. Good, thank you for that. Also, uh, the orders are in for your apparel. If you have not picked it up, please do so as soon as you can. Uh, it's all on, on uh, the desk in the main office, so please come and take care of that as well. We join me in a moment of prayer as we give thanks for these gifts. God, for all the opportunities we have to share, especially at this time of year, when we reach out to care for those who have less. For this opportunity we have to share your light and love with others, we just give thanks. This day for all who have given and for all those who receive, we just ask a special blessing to be upon them all. And we pray that your peace will be the order of the day. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. We ask that you prepare your hearts for prayer this day as we sing together, there is peace. Focus your light within us. Focus your 
Join us a prayer. God we, give you, God, we give you great thanks for this day, for the chance to be together, to hear the voices of this future in our congregation, all those who are to speak to this world, and we give you great thanks for their energy and their patience this day for the joy of our children, for the blessings of uh, just being together as a family, for the opportunity of our ministry to reach out to this world, we just give thanks. Prepare our hearts, not only this day, but for the days and the weeks ahead as we await once again your coming into this world. It's time that we need you more than ever. So God be with us, bring us comfort, bring us hope, Emmanuel, God with us, and help us to celebrate all the blessings that you give for us. For those who are hurting, for those who are lost, those who are searching, those who find themselves without a place to put their head or a food to put into their mouth, we just ask you to comfort them and empower us to reach our hands out, provide care and comfort, and most importantly, your light and your love. God, thank you for all those who are here, and we ask for special prayers to be surrounding those who are not able to be here. For all those who are grieving this day, for all those who are looking for new ways to find strength, surround us and surround all those in need. Amen. Amen. We pray, pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. And now I'd like to invite you all to stand up and move around a little bit, greet those around you, and be a community of peace. Testing. Turn it off. Testing. Testing. Okay, testing. Angel, head back to your chair. Um, I would like you all to sit for a moment, enjoy this retelling of the Christmas story as told by Matt and Lucy. Kids, take it away. Okay, everyone, let's practice our opening song one more time. Music, please. Will you please join us in singing, O Come, O Come, Emmanuel.
Once upon a time, there was a church that was getting ready for its Christmas nativity play. They had two, pe they had two new people helping out, Matt and Lucy. Hi, Matt. Hi, Lucy. Thanks for filling in like this. We're glad to have your help with our Christmas nativity. Do you have your scripts? Sure. Sure do. Right here. Great. I've got to check on a few things before we got before we get started, but we should be ready for a run through when I get back, okay? Okay. okay. Great. I'll be back soon. I am so excited. This is going to be awesome. Why don't we look at the script and watch what's going on? Good idea. There are the wise men. Uh, Matt, there are no wise people in the script. Really? I'm sure I saw them in here. Ex excuse me, could somebody please tell me why these wise men are here? Here it is. Wise people from the east came to Jerusalem. What scene is that? How could wise people get into the picture? There ahead of them went the star that they had seen at its rising until it stopped over the, over the place where the child was. Where does it say that? There must be some kind of mistake. I know I didn't see anything about wise people in the script. Excuse me, we have a question. Listen, I think they're going to sing. Will you please join us in singing We Three Kings? There's a problem. I don't know what's up with these wise people. Oh look, here come the shepherds. The what? The shepherds. Here they are, just like it says in the script. Uh, Lucy, there are no shepherds in the script. Sure there are. It says here in the, in the Regan, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Where do you see that? I know I didn't see that in the script. Where could shepherds possibly what? Where? What could shepherds possibly do in this nativity story? The shepherds said to one another, "Let us go now to Bethlehem, and see this thing which the Lord had made known to us." There must be some mistake. This is a story about a baby, Lucy. Shepherds take care of sheep. Hey, wait a second. Where are they going? We're supposed to wait for the angels. Where are my angels? Hopefully they're taking care of the sheep. According to the script, the shepherds get direction from the whole gang of angels. Hang on, I saw something about an angel here too. Not just one angel, a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth a peace among those with whom God is pleased. I don't know where that is, but I got an angel right here talking to Joseph. Finally, Finally here they, they are, are, just, just like, like it says right in my script. script. And in mine too, now we're getting somewhere. I guess one of them is getting ready to talk to Joseph. What, what did, did you say? The angel must be getting ready to talk to Joseph, just like it says in the script. That's what I thought you said. But the script says an angel talks to Mary. 
No, it says right here, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David. The script says the angel Gabriel was sent by God, your virgin, engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. I don't know, Lucy. I'm sure sorry you're having so many problems with your script. Problems with, with my, my script? script? I don't think have there's, there's any problems, problems with, with my script, script at all. Will you please join us in singing Angels We Have Heard on High? a problem. There are a bunch of animals in here. Yeah, this is my favorite part. Your favorite part? This is not in the script. We can't, we gotta do something. Help, can somebody help us please? There are wild animals in here. They're not wild animals, Matt. It's okay. Okay? How can this be okay? How can we possibly think animals in our Timothy story are okay? The script says that Mary gave birth to her first born son and wrapped him in a band of cloth and laid him in a manger. A manger is a box for animals, food. So Mary, Joseph, and Jesus were probably staying in a place where animals were. Will you please join us in singing Jesus our brother, strong and good.
script says there was no place for them in the inn. Here comes Mary, Joseph, and the baby Jesus. Well, there can be no disagreement about that. I can't wait, wait to, to hear, hear Mary, Mary sing. sing. I don't think Mary is going to sing. Yes, she does. Not long after the angel visits her. Here we go again. I don't think that's in the script. It's actually Joseph. I'm getting so mixed up. I don't know if we are ready. Will you please join us in singing Away in a Manger? Just a few minutes to places and curtain, everybody. Hey, Matt and Lucy, are you ready? I'm all confused because his script says we should have wise people, and I think we're supposed to ha have shepherds, and he says the angel talks to Joseph, but my script says the angel talks to Mary. And then I think we're supposed to have the animals, but Matt says they're not in the script. Well, things are going okay, but she says we need to have shepherds. And I think we're supposed to have wise men. And her script says the angel talks to Mary, but in mine, the angel appears to Joseph. And then I don't know wh what we're going to do with these animals, and I'm not sure where they fit in. Oh, Matt, Lucy, I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you, but I thought you already knew. Each of you has a different script. One is based upon the, go upon the Gospel of Luke and the other on the Gospel of Matthew. I don't understand. Why are they different? Each of the Gospels was written by a different writer many years after Jesus' life and ministry. Each writer lived in a different place, wrote to a different audience, and focused on different aspects of who Jesus was. How do we know which one is right? There are four Gospels in the Bible, and each one tells about Jesus. Matthew and Luke both tell the story of Jesus' birth, and each one teaches us something. What did you learn about Jesus from your script, Matt? I think Jesus was a king because his father Joseph was a descendant of King David. Jesus was such an important king that the wise men came and worshipped him even when he was a baby. Uh-huh. And what about you, Lucy? I think Jesus came into the world as a humble person. His family didn't have a place to stay. God announced Jesus' birth to the humblest of people, shepherds living in the fields. Yes, and to me, each of these stories helps us to know more about what Jesus' life and ministry meant in ancient times and what it means for us today. Maybe, Maybe these stories together help us know more about Jesus than either one alone. Maybe. Oh my, looks like it's time to start. Do you think you're ready? As ready as we can be. I, I think, think so too. too. 
then let's begin. Will you please join us in singing O Little Town of Bethlehem? Joy to the world. And as we remain standing, I would like to invite you this day to be with us, continue with us for lunch and for a special guest visit over in Fellowship Hall. So make sure you stay today because this is our church. Others will feel welcomed. It will do a great work. It will make generous gifts to many causes. It will be a sanctuary for social justice and peace. For marginalized communities and practice peace in every setting of my life. It will be a church that embraces all, builds community, grows faith, and transforms lives. To make it what it is, practice these things. Therefore, with the grace of God, we shall be a safe and inclusive church living God's radical message. And I shall all the things I want my church to be. Amen and amen. Go and share this wonderful good news. 